Hello everybody, this is the Goofs and Fox coming at you with a match here in the GP04. And it's going to be a 550 cost match here on Port Base High Tide. And real quick, going to have my loadout up right here because what's going to be special about this match here is that I am going to be running the new water part, that being optimized underwater ordnance. And this is a new part that had been added with the limited directives. And what this part does is that any suit you can put it on, you get underwater compatibility. And, yeah, at first, I thought this part wasn't going to be that good because, uh, well, there are a few things about it that I kind of wish it did that it doesn't do. Um, first of all, if you put this on a flight suit, no, it's not going to fly underwater like the Atlas, unfortunately. I was hoping that was something it would have been able to do, but... No, that's no, that's not the case here, unfortunately. But aside from that, you get pretty much all the other basic benefits here. That being increased speed underwater, and if you are like kind of outside of water, but like touching water, you don't get a speed decrease either. So pretty much any of the basic water benefits that uh, most other amphibious suits have, you do get here. Uh, another thing I should point out, you do not get the aquatic mobile shooting skill in any form or fashion. That is something that is limited to pretty much most amphibious suits. So, yeah, you don't get that as an extra skill for this if you do have this part equipped. Again, it's just the basic, you know, water compatibility stuff there. So just a few things I thought I should point out. But aside from that, this part has actually been quite fun to use, especially since with these special maps here, Port Base High Tide has been a prominent feature, so I've had plenty of time to use it. Uh, it's been kind of one of my concerns though for the future, if you know they don't have water maps around as much, is this part really going to be that useful after that? So it's going to be interesting to see after this if they try to bring amphibious maps back a bit. Uh, maps like, you know, maybe this one. <laughs> This one here, Port Base High Tide. Uh, jungle would be another one I think this part could be partially beneficial on. And definitely Military Port. If they bring Military Port back, I think that would be one of the best maps to actually use this on. And, yeah, 500 cost suit there. I think that's a Kapool on the enemy team who is under cost for this match here. Going to be taking some shots at the enemy base, trying to see if we can destroy it. We've already done some pretty good damage as it is. Uh, enemy is coming here, that is a GP01 Aqua, who unlike me, already has Amphibious compatibility. I think from also what I've heard, I don't think you get any extra benefits from putting this part on suits that are already Amphibious, so... Yeah, I don't think it does anything extra for them from what I've heard, but... Aside from that... Uh, so yeah, probably another thing I should mention is, since this is a part that takes part slots, well, how many part slots does it actually take? Well, it takes five close, five mid, and three long range slots to equip this part, and that is quite the handful, which was, again, just a reason why I didn't think this part would be that good. Now, I think the intention with this is that it was really meant to be for higher cost suits, because... If you're using, like, you know, if you're, like, at the lower costs, a lot of amphibious suits are down there. You got, like, Agai, Agugai, Juagu, Zogok, Zagok, uh, Aqua Gym. You got, like, a whole... Then, actually, recently, when this part released, we added 400, the Gym Dominance Underwater type. So, we have quite a lot of amphibious suits at the lower costs. I don't think this is what this piece was kind of intended for. I think this was meant more for higher cost levels because at higher costs I don't think there's really that many amphibious suits. Uh, you do got the Kapool and the Zezulu, you got the Atlas Gundam, but you don't have nearly as much as you do at the lower cost. So I think that was the overall intention. It was a way to, you know, let people kind of make more get or at least have more amphibious suits on hand while not actually having amphibious suits and hey did destroy the enemy base there but yes that's why matches most of my matches I've tried with this have been 400 to 550 at the moment when I first tested it it was 400 with the Gelgoot ground type VD and I did also try this at 500 with the Dom Barrage actually that was a really good match there 
and then 550 with the actually no also 500 with the hazel hazel 2 and that kind of is what led to my findings on this i do think supports work really well with this parts especially if they're like a bit more aggressive supports like gpo4 here can go in for melee or the Dom Barrage has to kind of get a bit closer to use its Gatling, and it has its missiles and beam gun too, so it can operate a bit more on the front lines. So I think the more aggressive supports, like this part's really good on. Gelgug Jaeger would probably be a really good candidate to use it. Probably the RS Jar Jar. Jar Jar would probably be interesting to see with this, as, yeah, you do have the boost missiles with that, so at least... With the RS Jar Jar, you do have a weapon you can fire while boosting. So you do, I guess, in a way, have underwater mobile shooting, just not for your primary. But, yeah, there's a few more, there's definitely a few more suits that I want to use this part on. Definitely before the event ends, because I think the directives end this upcoming update, actually. So if you don't have the part already, I do recommend getting it, because... It might, even if you only use it in customs, I do think it's going to be very helpful in the long run, because, as you can see here, I am moving pretty fast here with the GPO4. Uh, not fast enough to dodge this advanced Hazel's downswing, apparently, but, hey, Gundam Mark II is going to come in and help. I think the Aqua GPO1 on our team is actually assisting from the very top there. And tried to go in for the downswing, didn't get it in time, but did get the assist. There is a enemy Kapool. They have two of them on the enemy team this match. I also see a disadvantage. That's probably the Zezulu, but... Yeah, yeah, I would say overall that this part is actually pretty fun. Again, actually worth it, because... I don't know if we'll ever see this part in any form or fashion. And hey, you gotta count on the GPO1 Aqua there, but... It would be interesting to see if this maybe ends up in the Recycle Ticket Store. If it ends up in Recycle Ticket Store, I think it'd be quite a while before we see it. And if anything, they'll probably try to throw it in another event at some point. Like, how they kind of been doing events recently for people to get, like, things they missed in the past. So definitely, I think that's a possibility as well. I doubt they would probably just make this a one-and-done part, considering, I mean, it's just like a two-week event, so. Yeah, I don't think, we might see this part again, for those who don't have it, but there's still a bit more time left, so if you do want to get it, again, I would try to recommend, you know, playing the matches. All you have to do is really play the special matches, that's like the main thing. You gotta play a bunch of special matches, then you have to get mobile suit kills, and wins that's like one of the big ones you have to get actually get wins for this one but oh we're nearing the last few seconds of the match here taking a few more pot shots and one last tackle just to make sure i don't die unnecessarily and did manage to get it on that capool there but timeout mission over good works and a few zig zeons going around and let's see how we did here with the gpo4 and did get on the board, top individual and top damage. Gonna send a few praises around there. And first place over with 9 kills and 2 loss. Not too shabby there. And that's gonna do it for this match here in the GP04. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, the very, again, very good part. So I would say Optimize Underwater Ordnance might be worth your time in getting. Again, if you haven't gotten it already, I would recommend trying to get it. It's, again, it's only the third step, so you don't have to complete the um, directives in order to get it, which is, I think, really a good thing. Uh, after that, it's just DP rewards, so at that point, you can pretty much kind of skip it unless you are low on DP. But, yeah, that's going to be the end of this video here, so, yeah, comment down below what you think about Optimize Underwater Ordnance. Uh, have you, is there any suits in particular that you find this part to be very useful on? Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and with that, I will see you all in the next one. Later.